so I got a brand new Mastercraft retractable air hose and reel hose for my compressor. I'm gonna mount that on the wall. That way we can kind of pull it out when needed, when required, and make use of the, uh, the compressor anywhere on any side of the garage, give or take, it's 50 feet. My garage is about 28 feet long, so we could pretty much reach any corner. It'd be easy to wind back up, keep it nice and clean. We'll see uh, what it looks like, this thing. And uh, I'm gonna do an installation of it now. I now see the way it works. It's, uh, you mount it to the wall using this. You actually put your air line in here and they give you this rinky dink little small air line to attach to it, which would no way fit down to my compressor. So I'm actually gonna put a quick connect attachment there that I bought from Home Depot. Some Husky stuff. I'm gonna put one of these quick, quick attach connects there and then from there, I'm going to attach this line to it. It's not as, it's a 200 PSI line, but that way it'll just run to this line and hopefully we can see what we can do. Later on, if need be, I will just upgrade this, get a small line that's a little bit longer than this to go down to this hose. But other than that, we'll see how the installation goes. I already see a few little things I may have to change. Okay, so one thing they didn't provide me with in this uh, is hardware to actually lag it to the wall. So I have a few lag bolts. These look to be about two inches, give or take maybe two and a half. I'll lag these right to the wall using my Milwaukee drill. If need be, I'll start with a little pilot hole. I'm certain that's not the easiest on your impact drill and you should probably actually get a genuine impact drill, but these little attachments do work pretty good for what it's worth. And uh, I mean, it wouldn't do that all day with this thing, but that worked pretty good. So I already have quick connects on this, so. I guess I better put a quick connect on the end of this. Got a little piece of Teflon tape just to put on this compressed air. Test tube, we'll see if it leaks. There, so now it's got air. And good now so now it's just a quick I'll leave this yellow one obviously I won't leave it attached I'll take it off when it's not required I'll take the pieces off maybe I'll put a little box here or beside here where I'll keep all these little air tool attachments so when someone needs air they've got air I'll give it a go there maybe I should go get my ATV and check the air pressure on it I'll get my uh, lawn tractor maybe that would be a better idea. 
So the other day, this was the tire that I fixed with the green slime. It's actually held up not too bad after the second fix when I put enough green slime in it. But uh, as you can see now, I've got the hose run out with the air attachment. And you can see I could pull across the, uh, the room. It's not exactly a professional model, this Mastercraft air reel, but it will do the, the trick for a shop like this where you're just kind of playing around your own thing it's not, it's not for, for, for professionals i think you'd have to buy a heavier duty one than that but the air does work watch out brownie and i guess we'll check to see how it actually is held up I gotta clean this freaking garage out before winter. Here's a uh, dial. So it's actually a very low amount of PSI you actually need in this. And There's like five PSI in it, and I believe we need inflate to 10, so I guess I can go up. A little over 10 there now. All right. Well, we'll see how it holds up. Looks pretty good. The Mastercraft wind and reel hose. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to wind and reel in. You just kind of pull it and it'll come its way back. And I guess what you should do is actually have it reel on itself. Boom, there you go. I'll take this off. I guess that blew all the air out. I'll keep it down here. I actually don't have it plugged in right now, but I got a good amount of air left in the tank. So, it's pretty easy to plug in afterwards. I'll probably do something where I put a power bar along the bottom here and I'll plug this in right at the very end and I'll get a power bar that's got individual switches for each outlet and I could just keep it plugged in all the time, turn it off. Only when I need power will I turn it on and I'll run it back to here. So that's that. The Mastercraft wind and reel hose or whatever you want to call it. Again, the hose they actually give you to attach to your compressor is so freaking small. You'd almost need a stand-up compressor or something like that. I mean, I don't know what they want you to do with this thing. So, um, I think that quick connect is going to work better, easier. And, uh, I guess I can take that airline off in the meantime. And that's that. Job done.